Hello, my people. Listen, it has been so long, way too long, and I'm very sorry. But we got lots of content coming up, and we're about to unbox my new MacBook Pro, so stick around. Welcome back. So just to catch everyone up a little bit, you know, I was busy getting married. I'm about to have a baby. So I know you're here for this unboxing, so let's give it a whirl. The first thing you'll notice when I flip this open is that there's no picture. Usually they have a big giant picture of the computer that you're about to open. But this one says Apple certified refurbished. And we'll get into that in a little bit, but I know you're here for the unboxing, so let's do it. Cue the cool music. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, so here's the most satisfying part. First thing in the box, the MacBook Pro. So I decided to go with the 16 inch MacBook Pro, 32 gigs of RAM, terabyte solid state drive for all of those who wanted the uh, specs and eight gigabytes of video graphics because I do video editing for work. So my last computer, the iMac, which you might see behind me is actually from late 2013. So it was getting pretty old. I couldn't really edit in 4K and it just wasn't as good or fast as I wanted it to be. So I'm really hoping that this will speed my workflow up. Before we move on to the computer, let's just see what else Apple threw in here for us. So you have uh, your USB-C, I think it's Thunderbolt. Uh, I forget what generation it is now, but Thunderbolt is now gonna uh, charge your computer as well. So before you had the, the magnetic chargers uh, and they switched a few years back, but obviously this is new for me because I last updated in 2013. So that's cool. And then we have designed by Apple in California. I bet you there's stickers. If you've never bought an Apple product, you'll be happy to know that they always include stickers. Ooh, these are black though. They're like, they're like a, the space gray sticker. So that's really cool. Usually they're white, so. And then you just got other documents in here that aren't really that important, if I'm being honest. And there's a really thick thing in there that's not even paper. So, lastly, is the charger. Now, this is the wall charger, and it looks like, so it's 96 watts USB-C power adapter, but it looks like you can use your old extension cords. So if you have an older MacBook Pro, um, ever since, I forget what generation, but way back when they introduced these, um, you can swap out the power part, just swap that out, push it in, and then put in your longer cable. So I gotta find mine from way back when. So a lot of you might be wondering, refurbished? Like, why would you get a refurbished computer? Doesn't that mean that somebody like took it home and used it and you're buying a used computer? You might probably think of it as like, a pre-owned car or like certified pre-owned but honestly I would say it's actually better than that it's the closest thing to new that you're gonna get a lot of these probably weren't even owned by anyone and I'm only speaking from experience I worked at the Apple store for four years and what they would tell us when customers asked and obviously like I don't work for Apple anymore this video isn't sponsored uh, but what we were told to tell people is that each of these computers are actually individually tested and recertified. That's why the outside of the box says, you know, certified, refurbished. Um, so I believe that these are actually better quality in terms of testing and making sure that it's gonna work than a brand new computer, which is probably made in bulk in factories that kind of like, you know, they just make and ship out giant uh, quantities of laptops. So if you're wondering, is something wrong with these computers? Like, why are they refurbished? I would say that because the computers are made in probably a giant factory where they're making thousands of chips at a time in bulk and it's like robots doing stuff, there's, when you're making so many computers, there's gonna be a, a chance where something malfunctions, something doesn't get soldered right, or it's just a malfunctioning part, which is a natural part of like building and making you know a factory environment it's just a something that happens 
So the reason that I trust the refurbished part of it is that these are recertified. They're individually inspected versus being inspected one out of a hundred or a thousand or even one out of 10. You know, this computer was examined, retested and certified to be in good working order. So that's my opinion. The other benefit is you're going to save some money. So my computer, the specs, if you compare the specs, and I'll show them on the screen here, the specs are the same as this computer here, and you can see what new versus refurbished will look like. Um, and there's quite a price difference. So I did it because I wanted to save money for my business, and um, I think that you can too, and I would definitely trust it. And if it was, let, let's say that this computer was owned by somebody, Apple is Apple. They're gonna make it as new and they're gonna change whatever is worn. So you're, you are getting what I believe is a brand new computer that's individually tested and recertified by Apple. Not only that, but it comes with the same one year warranty that all of Apple's other computers have when you buy it brand new. And you have the opportunity to get your Apple Care um, and you know add the additional warranties and all that so there's no difference in my opinion other than you save some money and your computer was really individually tested so so all right let's turn this puppy on and see how it goes we got the design by and then we always flip it because you want the apple to be facing up when you flip it. Ready. It looks like it actually turns on right away. All right, everyone, thank you so much for reconnecting with my channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so at the end of the video. Just click my face. It's my face. Just click it. Um, and if you didn't like the video, then, you know, watch a couple more and see if you like those. All right, everyone, don't forget to make your goals and dreams a reality. And remember that you can do it. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. So you gotta smash like, subscribe, click the links down below so I make it